Hello everybody, our artist for November is going to be Jackson Pollock. Thanks to the people with Grace Arts, they went ahead and added new PowerPoints for this particular artist, which include talking points for each grade level along with different slideshows for each, each uh, grade level. Those can be found on the desartnews.org website. If you go to the download area, you can click on the password. It is be creative, all lowercase, one word. There you'll find the tip sheet, this video, uh, the PowerPoint presentation is broken down by groups along with the bio on the artist. Our project for November is going to be some of Jackson Pollock's more abstract art. We are going to be using Dixie Cups to put the paint in for the kindergarten through the second graders. And the third through sixth graders will have paint wheels that look similar to small egg cartons. Uh, the way Melissa set up the paint so that it comes out easy, just make sure that the adults are pouring the paint. There, she did just cut a little hole so a little bit of paint will come out at each time. One of the tips we found so far is to make sure the paints all look alike when they're in the cups in the little paint wheels. So you may want to label them because blue kind of looks like purple and purple looks like black and so on. They're also going to be uh, yarn, Q-tips, and stra I mean, um, I'm sorry, straws that will allow them to blow the paint around. They could mark it with the Q-tip bunch of different things that they can do to be abstract. I apologize, I do not have any samples. The samples are already on the cart due to some technical difficulties. It took me a little longer to get this video set up than we wanted to. What you wanna do is if you're in a class with only one volunteer, you may wanna try to show up 10 to 15 minutes early so that you can get your mind right and wrap around everything. Make sure you have the paint ready. You can get your paper ready. We're using watercolor paper along with watercolor paints to help avoid the mess. Each kid will get a piece of brown paper along with a piece of watercolor paper. You want to have them write their names and the teacher's names on the back of the paper first before the paper gets wet. If they use the straw and the Q-tips and everything, the Q-tip absorbs a lot of the paint. So the drying time should be pretty quickly. But as the kids finish, they'll want to put the papers aside so that they can dry as quick as they can. When you take the, when you take the, two, or th uh, the two for the cart, you also want to make sure that they're dry before you stack them on top of each other. So what you'll do is, for the K through second grade, you're going to give a set of six Dixie Cups for each table to share. We're going to mark what the paint colors are, and then you're going to squirt a little bit because it does. you do not need to foam up. You probably only need to go about a quarter of an inch for each one because the Q-tip will absorb the paint well along with the string. So they're not using brush paint or anything that they need a lot, and we'll have to go over it. Once they make their lines, they'll want to kind of stay with it. They will, the younger kids can share the Q-tips so that there's not a bunch of things. The Dixie Cups are also set up to be disposable, so when you dump them out, you're just done with them. And the little egg cartons with the older kids, you can have them help volunteer to wash them for you. If you have two parents, it should be a pretty seamless project, but it would be, it would be, it's very doable with one. If you kind of get, if you watch the information and you know a little bit about Jackson Pollock, just make sure you keep the video to, when you're doing the presentation, about 15 minutes so you have enough time to do the project to lay everything out. Encourage the students to try different strokes like dabbing, lightly swirling, dragging. They can also blow the paint through the straw once they put it on with the string. It'll make small little spatters. You can play soft jazz mu music in the back. The paint, if they only use a little bit at a time, we've seen it is, does not make that much of a mess. But the, it is noted adults should be the only one to pour the paints in the Dixie cup to make sure we don't make a mess. Do not let the students squirt the paint for themselves. Um, just like I stated, she poked tiny holes in the inner cap that will make the paint come out very lightly. Your final project when you see the samples on the cart is going to be abstract art. Circles, lines, different colors. Have fun with it. Make sure that the kids, they don't have to fill up the whole paper. If they get what they want on there, that's fine. Just make sure you pick two samples for each class so we can get them in the cart. So just make sure again that when you pour the paint in, you label the colors. You can use the brown paper to do it. If you pour in black, make a black, blue, purple, etc. So that when they dip into the purple, they don't think that they're dipping into the blue or they're dipping into the black. The third through sixth graders are gonna get their own Q-tips. They're gonna have their own little paint wells and you will see again that you only have to put a very little bit of paint in each one. So they can use theirs. We will keep the paint well, so you will have to wash those. But if you're doing the second grade and below, just toss the Dixie cups out because we're trying to keep the mess as simple as possible. If the brown paper is wet or painted, you can get rid of that as well. And we'll make sure we have some on there for you. If you guys have any questions about this at all or you find that maybe you need another volunteer, let one of us know. You can either email me, you can email Melissa DeSantis, or you can email Rachel Wachek. 
and they can get with somebody to see if they can get somebody to help you if you need help. Most of the classes have at least two, so we should be good there. But if you don't, let me know and we'll see if we can get somebody in there to help you. So far the first class, it was a younger group of kids. They said the class went very well and the final project was very nice. So reach out and let me know. Good luck.